What a match this should be at DCW Summer Scorcher here tonight. Somebody has not paid their dues. Uh, it's not me. I I'm paid. I'm paid up, Alboro. Look, I gotta admit, I was late once or twice in the past, but never again will I miss a payment by a minute. Well, the hustler Rip Rogers gets his due money in advance. And the big man, Alboron, is here. Alboron, the bill collector for the hustler, Rick Rogers. And uh, if you pay late pay dues, then uh, you've got this man to answer to. Ci abbiamo una expression da dove noi veniamo. <laughs> We have a saying from where I come from. It is better to live like a lion for one day, como un leone per un giorno, than to live like a lamb for 100 years, como una pecora per cento anni. That's why I am me. A man of honor, a man of respect, un uomo di rispetto, a man of business, M-O-B. And right here, tonight, in the Davis Arena, Derby City Wrestling, the boss, the one and only, the living legend, the mastermind himself, Rip Rogers has given me the strict authorization to make an example, to make a sacrificial lamb. A lamb out of anyone that has not paid their dues, that is not caught up and thinks they're gonna dodge the boss, that ain't never gonna happen because Alberone is on the job. Don't make me chase you. Don't make me look for you. Just come on out here and pay up. Gabish, Gabish, Gabish. Forget about it. Well, somebody's going to be made to be a lamb here today. Oh, it looks like we're about to get crazy here in the Dennis Arena. This man hasn't paid his dues and. Well, Apparently, he's late paying his dues. He's never paid a dude. He's a nut. He doesn't even have a checkbook, a bank account. Oh, I would want to be rich. He's a candy sniper by trade. Apparently, he gives all his money to the Children's Hospital of America. If this goes to a good cause, Rick. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing his opponent in this pay your dues or die matchup. He is from Escanaba, Michigan. Let's get crazy for Richard Cranium. Oh, Richard Cranium looks like he's pleased to be back in DCW, but this could be for one night only. Because if he hasn't paid his dues, he's gonna have to answer to our Baron. And uh, that man has got one of the most devastating right hand punches I've ever seen in my entire life. Well, this is a sanctioned match, and it was sanctioned by the boss himself, the hustler Rick Rogers. And, uh, he's trying to make a statement. Well, we have definitely got two crazy individuals in the squared circle at this moment. Cranium's not even afraid of him. Is he out of his mind? Oh, that goes without saying, but yeah. is he not? I don't know what. Wait. He's definitely out of his mind. He is definitely crazy. The only question is, how crazy is he tonight? Is he 80%? Could be 90. Might even be 120. You never do know. He better be 300% if he's going to get a win over Al Barone. We had a crazy headlock cinched in. That's the clothesline. Straight back to the side headlock. And that man just cranks down away. Oh, I wouldn't want those sweaty pits on my head. Oh. Alberon went for a big back body drop, but uh Cranium put front, the brakes on. From face lock into the side headlock. Richard Cranium technically signed here tonight. Alberon pushes him off like a little fly. 
What percentage do you think Richard Cranium's at at this moment, CCO? Somewhere around 73, 74. I've seen him reach 90. It's hard to decipher between 96 and 100, but I think he's going to get pretty darn crazy, Twinkie Dink. Oh, you do not want to be in the same room as Richard Cranium when he's 80 or above, that's for sure. Little semolina pudding goes flying. The blancmange is all over Wait, the place. Cranium's challenging Barone to come outside. He wants to take this fight into the crowd. Wait a minute, this is a pay your dues or die match, not a force count anywhere match. Well, if he doesn't pay those dudes, Barone's gonna kill him, so you might as well run from it. Oh, Richard Cranium now slithering back into the ring under that bottom rope. Oh, Barone. Oh, Barone. He knows. He's a re-general, this man, a veteran of the squared circle, been wrestling for more than 20 years. I mean, he knows that people go into that, entice you to the outside, then go into the belt and rope to try and get the advantage, and wait a minute. He's gone for that large, large package, but Barone counters and down hard, back-breaking body slam from Al Barone, the man of business. Oh, that one certainly will leave a mark on the back of Richard Cranium. Will we see the large package? Oh, no. We're not going to see any large package tonight. We just saw the most devastating fist in DCW history. Here is your winner, Al Barone. Al Barone looking mean here tonight. And Al oh, picking up Richard Cranium. He's still not happy. He wants to make an example out of Richard Cranium. And you know he's doing this for oh. the hustler himself. Cranium, Cranium doesn't even wear socks. This is gross. But... What's he going to get for those shoes? Is he just making an example? That's all he's doing. He's making an example out of him. If you don't pay your dues, I will take your clothes. I'll take your knee pads. I'll even take your life if I have to. Oh, Arborone. Arborone. The bill collector here. He's going to rip Cranium's foot off. He just wants to take anything. Just because he can. Oh. Oh, well, we just saw some money flowing Cranium out. Cranium had coins in there. I guess we found out where Richard Cranium keeps his life savings. We definitely saw some money. There was at least 75 cents, and uh, he has been humiliated Wait here tonight. Wait a minute. Barone has one shoe, a bandana, and a crazy robe. And Richard Cranium's the crazy one? That's got to be worth at least 20 cents. Maybe a dollar in an auction. Our Barone looking mean tonight, making a statement, making an example out of everybody. That's a message to all the boys here in DCW and the girls. More great, great action coming up here tonight. But coming up next, a match that's personal in your heart. I know it's personal for all the fans here in DCW. It's Shiloh versus Fang, and that one is personal. Twink, there's not enough bad things that I can say about Shiloh in the recent weeks, but Fang believes in this thing, and tonight Fang's gonna show everyone something special here, I promise you that. Well, Summer Scorcher continues. Look at this bad boy. Don't go anywhere. Coming up, that match is next. I can't wait.